Greetings and good day to you. Welcome to Chat with SG. I want to talk about our expectations that we have for others when we are going through our storms in life, when we are going through our tests, when we are repaying our karma to the universe, our, our debt, we're paying our debt, right? And we go through things. And we generally, as a people, as a collective, based upon how we were raised to feel like someone should always have our back, right? See, when we are children, we lean on our parents or our parent, whoever's there. We lean on our granny. When something goes wrong, we can just run to them and say, hey, this is what's going on. And they're right there to, to pat us and say, don't worry, everything is going to be okay, right? But when we become adults we we look for that person to lean on that spouse that relationship some of some of us are not even emotionally mature enough to have a spouse yet <laughs> we want to put all our burdens on a relationship we think that we should have spouse privileges in a relationship that someone is obligated to go through whatever we're going through in our life with us right and so <laughs> I see so many people that say, excuse me, I just ate lunch and I'm like, it's coughing, it's cold in here. But we have some people that will say, um, if they can't help me, I don't want them. If you're not down with me when I'm down, then I don't want you. I seen that today. I was talking to a brother today, explaining to him how that was so wrong. And here's the thing. <laughs> Whether we want to accept it or not, we have dues that we have to pay being here in this realm. We have things that we do that may not have been in alignment with God, but we have free will to continue to do them. But there's a price that you have to pay. So when your life becomes in shambles, whatever the case may be, we can always point at somebody else <coughs> and say, this person is the reason or because it was juju or because i helped this person da 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 the, the common denominator is you it's that i word that you keep using that's the common denominator you have free will you don't have to put yourself out there but we have become so accustomed to blaming others for our shortcomings that we feel like it's okay and it's not so when we are going through something in life no one is obligated to be by your side unless you are already married to this person that's one thing if you are not married if you have not put a ring on anybody's finger if you do not uh, carry a ring on your finger from somebody else you are not obligated to be with somebody during their shortfalls. If you do so, you need to do it with a pure heart because it's no guarantee that you're going to get the outcome that you wish for from that situation. It's no guarantee that this person has to be with you because you were there. You can't buy someone's loyalty. You're only buying time. So therefore, um, the hurt sets in because the expectation was, well, I'm gonna do this because I love this person. And this person gonna know, you know, uh, who I am and what I bring to the table. But that doesn't mean that that person has to be there for you. This person accepted the help that you gave, but this person does not have to stay by your side after things are said and done. Cause it's not, it's not set to say that this is your person. It's not set for God to say, this is the person that you are going to be with for the rest of your life. So the things that you do for someone, it's out the kindness of your heart. Here's my thing. If I was out and I was dating and I was like, okay, this, this brother, he looked good. <clears throat> I only date men. <laughs> That's a this brother, he looks good. Um, he has potential, right? Is the word that y'all always use it. He has great potential, um, but he's going through something right now. So let me help him. And let me stick by his side while he's going through what he's going through. Now, you have free will. You can definitely do that. You can definitely do that. But when you do that, you have to think. Like, in your mind, you're thinking that you're going to be with this person for a long for a long time, right? 
And if spirit doesn't allow for you to be with that person for a long time because it was some lessons that you needed to learn because this was a past life relationship, that's why you felt so strong with this person. That means that if it doesn't work, you let it go and you keep moving because that's how you get your blessings. Your, your, your blessings don't come from man, they come from God. And it's all about actions, how you responding to something. Are you moving with a pure heart? Are you moving with pure energy, right? But I will never say that, okay, I'm going through something and nobody was there for me. So uh, I don't want to be with you because you weren't there. Now, I used to say that, right? When I, was, when I wasn't healed, um, I used to say that. What the hell? When I wasn't healed, I used to say that. And uh, what is on my lip, y'all? Oh, that's just the glare. I'm like, what in the hell is on my lip? When I wasn't healed, I used to be like, okay, listen, let me tell you something. In 2019, I made a move from state to state, right? Um, I've been in Georgia since 2009, but I went back home because I felt like that was the best thing for me at that time. I sold my house here and went back to, went back to Florida. When I left Florida, it was just time for me to go because I'm like, Georgia is home. I can't do it. I just, you know, me in Florida, it's just, yeah, I love it. That's that's who raised me, but my home is in Georgia. So in, in the process of coming back, I left everything that I own in Florida other than my car, two bags, two to three bags of clothes, my laptop and my youngest son playpen. That's it, that's all I brought. I had my two kids, came back to Georgia. I got a place, got an apartment within a week of me coming back to Georgia. We stayed in a room for a week. Like, now mind you, this was just, this is just my worry pushing me. Go, 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 go. You know, I'm leaning on Ifa at this time. Ifa, what am I supposed to do? Got my Dafa, Ifa says, yes, you can go back to Atlanta. I go back to Atlanta, but I went on the outskirts. I get there and, um, it was probably in my mind i'm like this is the worst decision i ever made okay i for no reason could not get my stuff from florida all of my items i'm in apartment but i can't get my stuff here it's an issue one way or another either i got i can go down to florida and pick it up but when i get back i, I don't have anybody to bring this stuff up these stairs uh, or you know i got somebody here but when i go down there when i'm i'm trying to set it up i have nobody to help this person load this stuff down there uh uh or when i get both of them in line it's the money right one thing after another now all of these things these are i have memorables i had memorables from 20 years prior like expensive memorables okay everything that we owned from a 2200 square foot home was in two storages in florida and i lost them I lost them. I, I'm like, why can't nobody just come come with me to figure this out? Nobody will help me figure it out. And that hurt so bad. Cause I'm like, I, I'm literally starting over, right? I'm literally starting over. And I wanted help. I wanted help. The people in my energy, I'm calling them, hey, you know, da da da. No, nobody's genuinely helping me. You know, my, my son, godmother, she helped with him, right? And that's the help that I had to accept. She didn't help me, she helped with him right and um i sat and i'm like man this is crazy i got people that still trying to talk to me trying to be in my energy but nobody's helping me we didn't have tvs we didn't even have blankets i was going getting these these blankets from walmart and i gave them to my kids i did not have a blanket okay now we we, we left that place in december of 2020 of 2019 right so from the cold months when it started getting cold when it when fall set in i was in here no blanket the heater went out they wouldn't fix in the heater they just was raggedy i was cold laying under clothes but yet you have somebody trying to come and chill this man was really trying to come to the house and chill with me and sleep on the floor with me not bringing me a mattress not bringing me a blanket and i'm like brother no that's not what we're doing you know what I'm saying? I'm single. That's not what we're doing. I'm finna figure this out. And when I stopped looking for assistance from man, and I just put my head down and started leaning strictly on God and Ifa, everything just took off and everything turned in my favor. And that was with no help from anyone else. Within a year, I had everything brand new in my house. Everything, all of our clothes, up to the dishes everything was absolutely brand new house completely furnished right 
to getting a bigger house to get that furnished and, and swapping out furniture and you know like it was my, it was something I had to go through it was a it was something that I you know some, my karma that I had to go through right so I couldn't expect people to help me through my karma even though I wanted them to right I, I, oh, I would get my butt kicked for six months I wanted to but I couldn't expect anybody to help me on this journey and that's what I learned because when I leaned on God God helped me through it so when I got through it I got in yeah I, I got with my life partner when I got through it I got with my life partner do you understand me so sometimes it's like you gotta get through this you gotta go through the karma you gotta get through the lesson Whatever it was that you did, you got to pay for it. And then you will get the partner that you want, need, and deserve. That would have been selfish of me to have met or, or, or started dealing with my life partner when I couldn't offer him nothing. When I couldn't bring anything to the table but my problems and what I had going on. When I couldn't align to do anything that I needed to do for him and with him because we should both bring something to the table. It should not be one-sided. So when we sit and we're going through something and we want people to be there for us, we have to realize that's selfish to want somebody to be there for you when you ain't got nothing. I tell y'all all the time, if you know how powerful your tongue is, you will mind the words you speak. If you know how powerful your thoughts are, you will mind the things that you think. And if you knew how powerful your presence is, you would mind the company you keep. If I'm going through something, then of course my, my vibration is not high. No matter how much I want to try to fight it, it's not going to be high. It's not going to be where it needs to be. Why would I want to go put that energy on somebody else just to say this person rolled with me through what I went through? No. We got to stop gauging people for what we feel like. Oh, you should be with me with my low points and my high points. When you married, that person should be there with you through your low and your high points, right? You married, I'm... That's when a person should be there. But you're in a relationship with somebody. If you if you are out here going through trauma, stress, you need to triumph through what you're going through before you're trying to go get in another relationship. Why bring somebody in there? That's called trauma bonding. So you will always hold on to that. Man, when I had nothing, when I was doing nothing, I did this, I did that. That's trauma bonding. So you're asking the universe to send you your karmic. <laughs> Universe, send me a karmic. Uh, no, you know, you know, there's a lot of people that are in relationships right now and they've been in these relationships for some time now with somebody that they met at their lowest point in life. And that's their karmic. And yet they still haven't realized that that's their karmic because they're still going through it. It looks peaches and cream in the public, but behind closed doors, they don't even like each other. You understand me? Stop trauma bonding with people and get through it. Most successful people that you know that can... Tyler Perry's and all of those people like that's really successful they would tell you how they was by their self going through it you got to go through it to get through it baby let's stop depending on people to 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 have our back let's stop thinking that we got to have people back for them to look at us a certain way because no you most of the time I hear the stories don't worry I'm gonna put you out there I hear the stories. Oh, I was with them when they ain't have nothing. Oh, I helped this person do this. Oh, I helped this person do that. And this is how they paid me. And this is what they did to me. And they left me to go be with this person. Da, 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 da. When you there and you helping somebody through it, they not learning their lesson, baby. So they leaving you going to the next person to do the same thing that they did with you. And so you got a lot of hurt individuals out here, men and women. Mind you, men and women, these people have to go through these things on their own. It's the hardest thing ever, but you have to do it. And that's what, that's what separate the leaders from the followers. That's what separate the survivors from the victims. Do you understand me? So if you know that you are in a certain, you have a certain mentality about yourself, make sure you align with somebody that is on the same level as you and stop feeling sorry for people and feeling like you need to trauma bond with people when that's not the case because you're going to be hurt in the end because you putting these expectations in your head that you're going to be with somebody while they down they're going to do this to you or they're going to love you like this or they're going to be loyal to you and that is not the case 
You are just a mark at this point. We have to go through our shit alone. It's okay to have somebody to talk to, but you gotta go through it by yourself. You need to lean on God and God only. Listen, when I was going through it, every time I got paid, I'm going in there buying my candles. Every time I got paid, I'm getting my sage. Every time I'm getting paid, I'm getting my herbs. You know what I'm saying? To do my, my one-two. Continuously keeping Olo Dumari first. Continuously leaning on Ifa. And I know that everything that I have now, I manifested through Ifa. You understand me? Everything, I, I, it was nothing that I could do but lean on Ifa. And so I am so grateful and I have devoted my life. I've devoted my children. I've devoted what I am doing to Ifa because that's who had my back. And see, you're looking for the type of loyalty that God is going to give you in man. Because see, Ifa, Ifa never left me. Ifa words never hit the floor. Whatever Ifa said was for me was had. Yeah, I've had people to try to slow up my destiny, slow up my time, slow up my pages, slow up all of these things. But guess what? Everything that was still supposed to come to me, if I gave it, <laughs> it got here. <laughs> Nobody could stop that. The loyalty we're looking for in man, you need to look for it in God because God is the only one that's not going to leave you. And when it's time for God to say, okay, that's a wrap. You going home. You going home to be with God. <laughs> it ain't gonna be here. It ain't gonna be here. The things that I could the things that I could do and you know, yeah, I could talk about toxicity and, and, and toxic and do all these toxic ass readings and so on and so forth. If it come out toxic, it's gonna be toxic because I'm gonna give you the message. But I'd rather talk to you and tell you about how good God is and what we are looking for, that companionship, that love, that everlasting energy is in God, baby. It ain't in these these men and women out here because they going they gonna let you down. For some reason, your expectations that you are not supposed to have on somebody else's life for you <laughs> is what's going to cause you to have a letdown. We shouldn't expect anything from man, but only from God. Ashe.